Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, <laughs> I normally don't record anything like this, and honestly, I don't know why. Because I think it gives a really good insight to kind of just more of our life and the things that's going on that we don't really talk about that much, even though it's a really, really huge part of our lives as teen parents. So as you guys know, um, sorry, I'm looking at my laptop, which is like on my lap right now. But as you guys know, I am currently in my senior year of high school, and Josh, who's over here, say hi. Hello. Um, okay, before I start, so it is currently a Thursday, and um, I was supposed to be at school today, and honestly, I woke up this morning because the babies got up a lot of times last night, and I was so tired, and I had some homework that wasn't finished, and Honestly, um, what's been on my mind a lot lately is applying to my colleges because as far as I know, a lot of my friends who I've been talking to have already applied and I had a senior meeting with my counselor and I'm ready to apply. I just haven't actually applied yet. So like I was saying, most of you guys know that I'm a senior in high school right now. So applying to colleges is like the big thing on everyone's mind. And um, I know that I made a video talking about like what senior year was going to be like and I kind of hinted at like my college plans but I really haven't talked to you guys at all about my college plans and it's like something that is like really really big in my life right now and the babies and being a mom affects it in ways that I can't even start to explain. My college experience is going to be a lot different than other people my age and sadly I can't do things like live on campus and I really had to decide about what I was financially ready to do. As most of you guys know, me and Josh have been down to South Carolina a lot in the past few months. We love it in South Carolina and I definitely would really love to move there one day. So. As a loose plan, um, more, this was something that we talked about when me and Josh were together, was to move down to South Carolina and go to college there, both of us. Um, it is a lot cheaper than staying in New York, and um, it just seems like something that we would be able to pull off next year, and if not next year, then in two years, and I would just take a gap year for school. So as I said, that was more of a plan for when me and Josh were together. So now that we're not, we don't think it's smart to do something like that. I think it's better for both of us to kind of stay on our own track and do what's best for, like, the individual. So right now that's Josh staying in New York for his schooling. And then that means for me that also staying in New York is the best plan. So now that all of those plans kind of go out the window, I had to change my focus onto colleges that were really close by to where I live, which is at my mom's house. So. But also, also it makes it easier financially because we don't have to worry about paying a mortgage and figuring all of that out right now. Now we have more time to like live, like for Sophie to stay at her house with the babies, like mm -hmm. living here like obviously rent free yes. and so we don't have to worry about that quite yet. The biggest worry of moving was the financial aspect. Yeah. It wasn't whether or not we were like ready for it or like moving away from family. It was literally just can we afford this? And even if we could pull it, it's still not the smartest decision to get ourselves into a huge commitment with a mortgage and not having like a babysitter like right next door so yeah in the end it's a really good thing that we're staying here it just took us a little while to like see that that's like what we needed to do so but it is what we need to do we are so lucky with the fact that we probably have like 10 colleges like within 30 minutes like and they're really good colleges when i say good colleges like people from all over the world to come to some of these colleges because they're not all over the world, sorry, in the country. <laughs> People in the country come to these colleges because they're really well known colleges. So we're really lucky for that. And I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, like education wise, because all of them nearby are like great and they're like some of the best that I could ask for. So that's not really a problem for me. Um it's really just kind of the commute that I have to think about and the pricing because a lot of the colleges nearby are also very expensive and um I guess that's really it I mean I really love all of them so I'm not too worried um 
all of the colleges that I'm applying to, if I get in, I'll be perfectly happy. But um, I'm hoping that I have a choice in the end, just financially, because I need to really see how much each school is going to cost me in the end. Um, and I will probably go with the more, um, not like cheaper, but I mean like the more yeah. like... Yeah, because explain how right now you're looking at one college that's private and one that's yeah. public in the public. So community. my top two colleges, one is private and one is public. So obviously the private school is very expensive um, and the public school is very affordable, but it's amazing. But it is also about a 35 minute commute. So, all of these little tiny things I have to take into account. And, um, with that commute, that means that I really got to be leaving my house at least an hour ahead of time. And it's going to take me an hour to get home. So, with the babies, that's something to keep in mind. That with Josh's schedule at school, we have to be able to have that much spare time in between. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just this whole college situation being a mom is like beyond stressful so today i am actually sending in my applications it's a really big move on my end i've had my applications kind of ready to go for a few weeks now i just haven't made the move to send them in so that's what i'm going to be doing so basically right now i have the website pulled up um common app is actually where we apply i don't know like if that applies for like most people in the country but like for here? Does common does everyone use Common App? Josh? Um, I'm not sure, I think so. Alright, well I use Common App and our school uses Common App. So um basically most colleges are on Common App and then you just do one application and you send it out to multiple different schools. Um so I'm reviewing my like main application right now. They basically are just making sure that your spelling is correct, your grammar is correct, that you filled in all the right information. It actually took me a little while to figure out what I wanted to major in. I knew that I wanted to do something like with healthcare, with medicine, something like that. I was really going back and forth between um, majoring in biology, doing a pre-med course, or... Um, nursing and if I didn't have the babies this is kind of something again that gets really affected by being a mom if I did not have the babies I would have loved to major in biology and eventually go to med school but it's something that I just can't it's not I don't want to say it's not doable because I think it is doable but it just makes life a lot harder and becoming a doctor takes hours and hours and hours of every single day and I just really can't do I can't have that kind of commitment so I'm going for my nursing degree um, my bachelor's and then afterwards I would love to get my master's but I'm obviously just gonna focus on my bachelor's for now and um, I'm really 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 excited now that I've like, kind of just decided that that's what I'm doing so I'm just going through everything, and everything looks great. My essay, my personal essay, is actually about, like, my pregnancy, and it's really good. I kind of finessed to that. And, yeah, I'm, like, super excited. I wish I could show you guys off the screen a little bit more, but just for, like, privacy's sake, I'm not really going to say the colleges that I am applying to. Maybe eventually I will um, say where I'm going, like, once I decide and get accepted, but um, for now I'm just going to keep it private. But everything looks good. So, I think that I'm ready to apply to my first college. You do it one at a time, and you obviously have to pay the fee for it. So, I'm applying to my first one right about now. So, I'm going to set the camera down, and I'm going to go do that, and then I will come back on here after that's done, because it's going to be so crazy, like, actually applying. I'm very proud of myself for, like, how far I've come, and just really like sticking with school and getting my education because I know how important it is and honestly it takes some of the stress off knowing that in like four years if I work really hard I will have a well-paying job and be able to support my family so anyways guys sorry that this is just like all talking like I don't want this to be super boring so I'm just gonna shut up and get off camera for a second and I will be back I did it guys it says I submitted congratulations Oh wait, should I just hit something? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. You have successfully submitted your common application to blank. Application submitted. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really want to know. Oh my god. I don't want to wait multiple months. 
Oh my god. Okay, so the one I just applied to is basically my top one. So I got that over and done with. So total I'm applying to four, which is not many at all. But I have a safe school. I have a reach. I have another safe school. And then like one that's like probably underneath where I should be going. So, you know, we good. We good. We good. <laughs> That is so crazy. Okay, so now I'm doing my second top one. And yeah, so I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna take you through every single school because it's gonna be very boring for you guys. But basically, I applied to college now. And that is so crazy that I am doing this. I don't know, it's just so crazy. I'm so excited for college though. I really am. I just want to be done with high school so badly. Um, It kind of feels like a joke this year, honestly. Like, I just applied to college, like, what I put on there is what they're gonna see, and basically what I do from this point on is, like, not really worth much, but, yeah. you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta work through it. So, also, I look like a hobo, just because it is, um, 8.30 in the morning, and, yeah, and also, I really hope this isn't boring for you guys, like, I was questioning whether or not to even film this in the first place, because I'm literally just sitting here blabbering, but I feel like it's just, like, something I kind of want you guys to see, like, I don't know, like, we're still in school, you know, we're still in school, like, I don't know, it's just so crazy, like, being parents and still being in school and stuff, and me and Josh were talking about it, and it's just something that, like, I guess we don't really show too much, but it's, like, a huge part of our lives, and it really affects things with the babies, and the babies affects things with the school, so yeah, but we're pushing through it. Beaky, Beaky, baller Beaky, <gasps> I'm Munchkin boy. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted my second college, congratulations. I have like a massive bruise on my arm and everyone's gonna notice. This happened because I hit it on a car. Love that. Good morning, Ziki Ziki. Size. Good morning. Say good morning. Ziki. He wants the camera. You want Say it? hi. Say I'm proud of you, mama. <laughs> You're too cute. You're too cute. Okay guys, so I just finished applying and I'm so proud of myself. I feel really relieved and just happy that I got that over and done with. And yeah, I don't really feel like I have anything else to say about it. I just am really happy that it's done. So, and now for the rest of our day, it's still so early and like, now I just can't go back to sleep, you know, now that I'm up, but I really don't know what we're going to do today. Usually we're just chilling, but maybe we can do something now that we're both home. And neither of us, you don't have school tonight. No. So we'll see. All right, guys, we kind of just moved downstairs from my bedroom. And it is snowing for the first time today. You're definitely not going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's not snowing very heavily. But it is snowing. So uh, we still have no plan for the day, but I'm eating cereal. And we're probably going to have to feed the baby soon. So we've been getting really good about giving them actual food and not just bottles anymore it took us a little while to get on a schedule just with everything like happening in life so now we have them eating solids twice a day at least sometimes three if we're really good but we definitely do need to start feeding them three times a day more since they're getting older they're nine months now so yeah and this is josh's breakfast peppermint stick flavor although it's like 11 o'clock so it's not even really breakfast anymore but well Wait, no, no, it's 11. 11. The yeah, time change. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Are you playing with your mirror? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So lately, the new thing with this baby has been to scoot himself backwards, like, in the process of learning how to crawl. So we'll see if I can get it on camera. I just distract him a lot, so we'll see if he'll do it. Anytime I make a noise, it just stops. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> he doesn't know. So he's trying to get up on his knees, but <laughs> I mean, just go he backwards. just goes back. 
<laughs> he's trying. Oh, he's, he's, he's trying. <laughs> he's trying very hard. Oh my god, Zeke is sleeping. The other day I was sitting on the couch and I had him like way out in front of me so I could see him and I swear to god this actually happened like 30 seconds later I look up and he's not there <laughs> and I was like and that is the first time that has ever happened to me and he's like under the couch like not under the couch but his legs can get under here so like half of his he body was under because he was backed up into it and then I realized like we're starting to get to those stages <sighs> where we need like the little gates and like to really baby proof it because they're starting to move now. It's he just made it onto the hardwood and he's about to go again. We have to yep. keep on moving him. <laughs> he is out of here. It has not been a minute. <laughs> it has been maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> and he has just been scooching his fat belly across the ground. Where are you? Yeah, where? <laughs> I do not like the noise that it is making. Yeah. <laughs> where he's are like you happy. going? He's uh, content. Yeah, he's no, he's just, fine, but he's, he's just. just oh, wait, he's about to hit the corner though. Oh. No, he missed it. He, he yeah. missed it, okay, but still. What are you doing? Dude, where are you going? Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> you're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> so he knows how to crawl But backwards. it's really weird that he can actually move like that now. Yeah. And now he's against the wall where he'll stay. Yeah. By the pumpkins. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you Bye -bye. tomorrow. And then there's Zeke. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is what we're doing for breakfast. It's just... Hey, baby. It's um, baby oatmeal, strawberry oatmeal. And so... Obviously, you can kind of see it's getting thicker. We're slowly trying to introduce them to some thicker foods. That's great. Um, just because we kind of waited a little while to really get them going with solids. Well, there. I hear you. You're hungry, Baba. But look how good they're doing with it now. I mean, he takes it. He loves it. Yeah, he just gets angry because he wants more and more. And then he's happy yeah. once he has it in his mouth. And we've been noticing that it really does just keep them full longer. Yeah. We're using way less formula, so it's really awesome. But um, I do know that like other babies their age are definitely ahead of where they are. Obviously, they are going to be a little bit since they're preemies. But um, we're still trying, it's still a goal of ours, to get them on track. Um, so that means instead of always giving them purees, which is what we were doing for a long time, to start thickening up the foods that we're giving them. So like applesauce and rice and beans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the little um, puffs, baby puffs. So we're starting to go with that and it's been really good. And obviously like this oatmeal is thicker and has like more chunks in it so they're getting used to that. And yeah, I'm really excited actually. It's really fun. Guys, now you can really see the snow. It's so crazy. Alright guys, it's like a really cozy day today with it snowing for like the first time. We're just all warm inside, so I'm just going to get some chores done. That's like my goal today. Um, I also have like a lot of homework to do later. So the babies are fed. They're about to go down for their nap and Josh is doing that. So I'm just going to finish doing baby laundry and my laundry and just get a little bit more organized. <laughs> My camera's about to die and the babies were just put to bed. It's a decent amount of time later. We honestly just had a really chill day. I was waiting to vlog more in case we went out and did something, but it ended up snowing a lot. So we just stayed home, enjoyed the night, and now I'm about to get some homework done and then go to sleep and take a bath. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I love you guys.